<sighs> Boy, have I been lousy at keeping up with these videos. Oh, uh, what the heck, I'm back, huh? So, um, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about really anything other than my opinion of the eliminated contestants in order, because there's not that much I can really say. Every challenge has been awesome, the competition has been really intense, and it's just been a lot of fun. And unlike what I said in my first video where I was discussing episodes of this season, now I'm thinking that the show should stick to this new format, so there you go. And I also like how in the most recent couple of episodes we've gotten insights to each of the shooter's personal lives because that's the problem with Top Shot. Even though it isn't about anyone's personal lives or their interactions with each other, I would like to know a lot about these guys because I would have loved to have known more about the guys in Season 1 and Season 3, so... Yeah. It's a bummer that we don't get stuff like that. It's pretty disappointing. And, um, I've actually just figured out that, um, the reason why Blake came instead of JJ was because JJ apparently had married and had some kids, so, there we go. At least that explains that, because I was like, Blake and not JJ, hmm. So, going on to the eliminated people in order of elimination. Kyle, well, I don't have that much to say about him. I don't hate the guy, but I wanted everyone from season four to go, so... Yeah. I'll talk about Jamie later. Gabby, well, I was kind of disappointed that she left so soon after doing a very great mile marker in the history of Top Shot, becoming the first woman to survive an elimination challenge. So it did suck, but hey, at least this time, you know, she went out in style, and other than doing that elimination challenge, she performed excellently in the bow and arrow, the elimination challenge that she was eliminated in, and a couple of other challenges that I forget because there's so much individual stuff that's rolling through my mind. So she was the one season four person I was sorry to see go, but she's recrafted the image, and she left in a much more positive light, so... Great job, Gabby. It is a bummer that she had to leave so soon, though. Alex, well, it was kind of disappointing to see him go, because, um, this season brought forth that he's actually a pretty good shooter, and that he just didn't get that much camera time in season three, and that he actually wasn't really that much of a bad guy. It just so happened he just decided to shoot Mike's target at one time, and he justifiably did have reason for not being nominated in the top five. So it was disappointing to see him go, but what the heck, I mean, Brian, who would have expected him to do that, and he gave it his all, and he did pretty good, it just wasn't good enough. It's no fault of Alex, it just turned out that way. But this time I do feel like he got tons of camera time, so I was very glad to see that. Moving on to Jamie, well... I did want Gary to stay over him, but I was glad that Jamie got the redemption that he needed, because after I finished Season 4, I went back to Season 2, which had previously been my worst season, and I began to look at Jamie, who I actually hated when I first saw it, and I go, uh, I don't know, but now I'm beginning to think that that it was actually just a bad edit. I'm not entirely sure that you're that bad of a person, and then I saw him on one of the episodes of Top Guns, and I go, yeah, this was a bad edit, he's perfectly calm here. So, Jamie came back, and he managed to redeem himself, so I was really glad about that. And it's unfortunate that it came down to him and Gary, but I'm going to be complaining about that in almost every episode, because I like almost everybody here, more on that later. Good job, Jamie. Gives your season a couple more perks. Hopefully I'll be able to think of it in a more positive light soon, because I still, unfortunately, call it season two fairly negative. It's a bummer. Okay, so after Jamie, it's pff, silly me this episode. Well, <laughs> I find it kind of ironic that the squad that I didn't want to go to the Proving Ground went to the Proving Ground, so that kind of sucked. Chris surviving, well, I think a lot of us could have predicted that, honestly. I don't know why, just... Adam's right, Chris is one of the best, if not the best, all-around shooter, and... 
I felt the same way about him in Season 1, because, like, back in Season 1, when it came down to the top four, I didn't want JJ to win, because I wanted a fairly even matchup, and I honestly was kind of against JJ when I saw it. I don't know why. And then Peter, well, I had been a blue team supporter the entire season, even though I did like Peter and Kelly. But, like, Chris and Ian, they were basically the same person. The only difference between them was Ian went to an elimination challenge and shot that one target faster than Chris. That's the only difference between them. So, I was glad that he's managed to survive it so far. Then, that elimination challenge, well, I think almost all of us were predicting that Adam would be sent home, but instead, Adam beats Kelly. Fairly shocking, I gotta admit. Kelly, well, that was a great one run, dude. I mean, like, you went from being pretty much bottom of the rankings in Season 1. People didn't have that much faith in you, but you proved to have some strong decisions. Then you come back, and then several times over, you smoke the competition. I mean, this is his, uh... First time being in the, uh... Elimination challenge the entire season. Yeah. So it's just amazing what he's done. I mean, like, he won, what was it, four, five challenges? He placed second and, like, two more, and then shooting the bullet through the middle of a CD. He went free for free. Very few people give that kind of a performance, and that was awesome. I am bummed to see him go, but I would have been bummed to see any one of those three guys go. I was actually hoping one of the other squads would lose, so William or Brian Zins would be in elimination. Okay, so now that I've talked about all the eliminated people, let's talk about a couple of other things. First thing is, um, how is the extra shooter going to be eliminated? Because, okay, let's do the math, okay? One shooter gets eliminated for... 11 episodes. I'm assu I'm assuming that the show is going to stay at its regular amount of episodes, which is 12 per season, okay? So, 1 times 11 is 11, then there's 4th place, 3rd place, 2nd place, and the winner. So that's 15. Where's the extra shooter going to get eliminated? Unless you're going to add in another episode. Because that's the one thing that's kind of gotten to me about Top Shot. There's always one more shooter than the amount of episodes can provide. That kind of kills me. And, like, this season had two great opportunities to eliminate the special shooter. The very first challenge, well, they could have just eliminated the shooter right off the bat, like they did in Season 4. Or, in that freeway elimination between Brian, Alex, and Peter, they could have just eliminated two of the three. And that's what I expected them to do. The fact that they haven't continued is kind of getting to me. I'm... Get rid of the extra shooter, come on! That's killing me. Alright. As for um, who I'd like to see win, uh, there's no one I can really pick. I mean, like, they're all people I think I'm beginning to like a tad bit more, but it's not really enough. Other people that I don't like still, yeah, there's um, two. One, of course, is William, even though he is doing better this season, but... He's the last person from Season 4, and I want everyone from Season 4 to go. And then the other person is Brian, honestly. Now, it's not a revenge thing. Because, um, in Season 2, I didn't fully really like Brian either. I don't know why, and when he was up against Chris in the elimination, I was just praying that Chris would beat him, and thank God he did, but... The main thing that's gonna make us Brian was that one confessional he had this episode. He's like, Chris needs to go to the Proving Grounds and experience it. It's, it's just like, I'm gonna vendetta to see Chris go. Now, it could be he's... He, Brian is a bit revengeful for the fact that Chris beat him in the die shooting thing, but... I don't know, dude. That... Really showed a bit of a dark side to you. So, he's the other person that I'd kinda like to see go. Well, I don't think there's really anything I can mention, so, so far, the show's managed to stay pretty positive, and is continuing the trend where the odd seasons of Top Shot, all the seasons that I'm liking, let's hope it stays that way.
because I do not want this season to become negative later on.